Christy. Welcome back to my channel, girl. If you're new here, my name is Ashu Christ, style beauty for free content. But for my return to basically, hey girl, was tea and based on how to grow on Instagram Reels. So let's get into it. Basically, one thing they don't tell you is that growing on Reels is actually very easy. So that was my account back in April, and this is my account now. Once basically, I grew my account that bad basically in here. The first thing basically, what type of content you're posting. So my type of content is more of like the beauty and perfume content so like my beauty and content the first thing basically is always tag the brand and you always tag the brand for what if the brand wants to work with you so then like you can start like making some money the first tip basically is so then the brand might repost you on your story and, and bestie is all about hashtags so bestie sometimes i will type my own like hashtag but i have seen a lot of girls so basically so what i wouldn't do is right as y'all see I will type in hashtag, so let you send like a Bath and Body Works video, right? I will type in hashtags for Bath and Body Works. Now, I love besthashtags.com. I have been like using them since last year and like this is not sponsored. I just love them down. So then you're going to scroll down and you're going to click copy hashtag and then you're just going to post that. I've been growing so so much bestie on Reels bestie and I know thing bestie they don't tell you bestie you got to have a good angle like you got to have a good angle and a good tripod. Now I got this tripod from like Amazon and I love it now because from what it's charged but they have so many, many light features as y'all can see and then basically one of my favorite features is it has the little tripod thing so then if I'm taking a picture I just do boom and it'll take my and it'll take my picture so that's how I have grown on like on Instagram and real so much basically and another thing basically you got to engage with your audience like but so like my audience we are the besties right and with besties you feel connected you feel engaged you people if somebody comment oh yo on trying like this new look product try it out bestie and then in it so that's why you're that's another way that your supporters will feel more engaged and bestie for is that girl and you, you cannot let your viewers get bored so i like to like like switch it up and try a different angle so for example now i'm here like you want to change your views because views like see how i just like moved and i got your attention more that's what i'm talking about like you're gonna be able so for us to switch up your view because the more you switch up your views the more your viewers are going to get excited because like let's just say okay so like for example let's just say i'm just sitting here that's going to get boring you got to be able to want to engage with your audience it's like that's going to get so important basically so uh, like when filming so so when filming like your vlogs for example when like one thing i do with like my vlogs i change angles Another thing, engage on Instagram and will purposely push out your videos to if you are active on Instagram. And I don't mean like, oh, I'm just on. I mean like, you gotta engage. You gotta post in your story. Like, at least once a week, I try to go live to least with like my besties, and then I post turn reels, turn text. I said like, make sure like my besties feel like engaged. So for and as and as you see, I did. What you think you like better, ice lemon pound cake or the sunrise citrus or that, and that's how you're getting your viewers to engage with your videos. Like, you guys to be able to engage with your supporters and besties because that's how you're going to get pushed out on reels more, and that's how you're going to grow an uh, audience that love you. So, that's it's one Instagram picture once a month. So, last one, I do have a photo coming soon, but that's the photo for July, and then that is the like photo I did. Like, you got to engage with because they follow you why what do you bring to the table because there are a lot of other influencers and content creators but what do you bring like to the table like what is special about you it's your comfort zone and what i mean by that like you gotta try different things for example like try to post certain content that like you know is gonna get people talking if you don't know i love white boys down they just they just so fine. so i did a, a video about that it's gonna get people talking from when you know i'm gay some folks don't like it who cares i'll be me regardless so i know that's gonna get like some folks talking and a lot of people don't know the more people comment on your post the more engagement it get and the more engagement the more money you can be making 
And another thing, the more people comment on your videos, the more it's going to get boosted on Instagram. The more people comment on your videos, the more it will get boosted out. So that's why I ask questions. So like, for example, I say, hey, what's your favorite scent? Or like I ask questions because I get my besties to comment because the more, cause the more they comment, the more engagement you're going to get. And the more engagement means the, the more brands deals that will be coming in. So I posted that video, right? And then a lot of views, right? And basically, so a lot of y'all don't know, like my, like my content is lifestyle. And beauty. So lifestyle is what clicking and fashion, all that stuff. So I do like some fashion content. So I did that fashion video, right? And basically, you could not tell me that like, I know I look good. I'm fine. I'm tall. I'm stallion. Like you can't tell me nothing. And a lot of folks was like, yeah. And a lot of folks didn't like it. And that's okay because everybody's not gonna like everything. That video got a lot of folks talking. And I knew, and I did that on purpose, like to grow on real space or to grow on social media, like just in general, which comment down below if y'all want like a like can like grow on social media. You gotta be a little controversial. You gotta like step outside your comfort zone. Like you gotta get some folks talking. A little controversial. Like you gotta be able to step outside your like comfort zone. And the more you get folks talking, the more money you can be making. And what I mean by that if like, like for example so I did that video, right? It was like cause like I love like tight shorts and tight clothes, so that's okay. A lot of folks like some folks don't like tight clothes, some people do. Some folks like blue, some folks don't like everybody's not gonna like something. So I did that video knowing that video was gonna, you know, like ruffle some feather. Last time I checked that video got ten thousand views. And a lot of folks put their opinion inside the comment. And that video is starting to go back viral again. I know I last my check, I first Post that video back in like August. No, back in June. It had 5,000 views. And I checked last night, girl. It's at 10,000 views. Like, the more you get those comments, the more people are going to see your video. And the more, and the more Instagram is going to post your videos out there. So don't be afraid to make a little, like, controversial, like, video. Like, do, like, a little, like, controversial stuff. Like, you know, like, like to get the folks talking. Because, you know, the, because, like, the more they talk, the better. And other uh, with your kind like, I see, like, a lot of folks who's, like, Wanting to grow on like social media, but they're not, but like they're second guessing their content. They're like, oh, is my content gonna be good? And basically, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did that last year. I still do it sometimes. Like, I do it like 1% of like this year, basically. But if, but if somebody don't like your video, it's actually okay because the more, cause like if you get like a troll, I do like have some trolls. If you can get a troll to comment on each post, basically, that's engagement. And engagement means what? money so like you guys who like think of it as like a mindset like it's like a mindset thing like instead of saying what happened if someone don't like it be like what happened if they do like it if you're thinking oh my like captain someone don't watch my videos what happens if they do like it's all about your mindset it's like you got to be able to trick your mindset and change your mindset because if you only think like negative stuff you're going to be negative if you think happy positive encouraging motivating thoughts you're going to be happy and motivated to do your goals so best thing girl find your posting schedule so you know through tiktok monday monday through friday i post four times a day i post once at 10 12 and twice at six o'clock because at six o'clock some folks get off work school activities so like being quiet that's why i post at them certain times because in 12 o'clock too, because people are on their lunch break, which means they're scrolling on their phone. Those are the best time to post basically. So what I do basically, so all where is 20. So I post 20 videos a week. I've seen so much growth and bestie. My like, you gotta be consistent. Like the more Instagram sees that you're consistent, the more they're going to post your videos out more. So post all your videos from TikTok, shorts, all that to your Instagram and use hashtag that. So if you're doing like a get, ready to do preppy skincare preppy get ready with video make sure that goes with with your video so when people go to like instagram type in get, get like hashtag get ready with me video your video will pop up in the feed basically so that and like on the weekends i post twice so once but i've seen so much more growth posting twice so twice every saturday and sunday it's the real so you can grow i hope these tips help my besties out give yourself a break bestie bestie bye bestie